And joining me now is the executive vice president of the Trump Organization and the son of the president, Eric Trump. Eric, thanks for being here. Uh, you heard my thanks, open. Judge. Am Good I job. wrong? No, you're 100% right. I mean, I actually think it's a beautiful open. You can go buy a bottle of vodka at a liquor store, but you can't go to church. You can go to Planned Parenthood and get an abortion, but you can't go to the public library to vote. You have these Democrats that come up with these names for these various bills, right? You have the, the HEROES Act. It sounds beautiful until you start discovering some of the garbage that they put in it, like every state in the country has mail-in voting. And I mean, it's really, really disingenuous. The Democrats are trying to milk this for everything they can, and it's sad. My father, as commander in chief, has one of the hardest decisions I think any president in, in history has had, right? He has to weigh the safety of the public versus, you know, our, our, our economy and opening up America. We are the economic powerhouse of the entire world, Janine. And, you know, he's got to weigh that. But America does have to get back to work, and America also want to get back to work. And you can't have every business disappear. And you can't just have, as you said so well in your open, you just can't have the big businesses, the Fortune 500 companies, survive while all the mom and pops go out of business because of the dichotomy of the, of the two. And so it's, um, no, you absolutely nailed it. Um, it's ridiculous what they're trying to do. And, uh, and it's going to be stopped. Well, you know, but what what are the consequences? I mean, politically, when you look at your father and you look at the campaign and the election is how many months away, uh, the more the lockdown continues, the more difficult it is. Joe Biden is staying in his basement uh, and, uh, you know, your father is chomping to get out and they're basically saying and nobody can go out in New York City and Los Angeles. How is that going to impact the elections? Well, listen, the election's 176 days uh, to be exact away. And listen, Bi Biden loves this. Biden can't go out on stage without making some horrible blunder. I mean, even from his basement, he's making awful gaffes every single day. So his campaign's thrilled that he's not going out there. And they think they're taking away Donald Trump's greatest tool, which is being able to go into an arena and fill it with 50,000 people every single time, right? So they, they will, and you watch, they'll milk it every single day between now and November 3rd. And guess what? After November 3rd, coronavirus will magically all of a sudden go away and disappear and everybody will be able to reopen. They're trying to deprive him of, of, of his, his greatest asset, um, which is the fact that the American people love him, the fact that he's relatable, the fact that he can go out there and draw massive crowds. Joe Biden can't get 10 people in a room. My father's getting 50,000 in a room and they want to do everything they can to stop it. So make no mistake to a lot of them, Janine, to a lot of them, this, this is a very cognizant strategy that they're trying to employ. It's no different than, again, the nonsense that they're trying to throw in the HOPE Act. It's no different than the mail-in voting that they want to do all these places. It's no different than wanting illegal immigrants to vote in our country. It is a cognizant strategy, um, and it's, uh, it's sad. And again, it's not going to be allowed to happen. We're going to win November. Oh. Well, you know, when you say it's a cognizant strategy, I mean, it's clearly it's it's no longer, you know, for a while it was about the science and the non-believers and all that. But it's right down the middle in terms of left and right. You know, when when you've got ships going back because we don't have enough patients to put in them, but those same cities are closed down. And now, you know, Nancy Pelosi in this three point three or whatever trillion dollar stimulus, her latest bill. Uh, is for mail-in voting. They don't want people to go to, to election uh, polling places. And, and there's a picture that should have been used of a, you know, people in line at Walmart. We've all been there, Home Depot, you're six feet away. You can do the same thing to vote. It's, it's, it is, um, it, it is, it's, it's, it's a fear that's being instilled. Are people buying it, though? And, and by the way, the media is running with the judge. I mean, the media is running with you. Look at the White House press conference yesterday. They're all in there. They're, they're criticizing everybody. Why isn't everybody wearing masks? Why isn't everybody wearing masks? All of a sudden, the press conference ends. They continue to roll a clip. And all the reporters are ripping off their masks in the room and going up to each other and speaking. I mean, wow. it's, it's really insane. I mean, they're, they're furthering. They're, they're actually stoking fear in this country. They're doing a massive disservice. They're being totally disingenuous about the whole thing. Uh, but they're doing it for one reason. They want to hurt Trump. They tried to do it with the Russia thing. They tried to do it with, you know, the Ukraine scandal. They tried to do it with impeachment. Now they're trying to do it with coronavirus. Yeah. They know they can't beat him. They know that Joe Biden can't beat him. He doesn't he doesn't stand a chance. So what are they trying? They're, they're, they're trying to do anything that they can to stop him. They'll shut down the economy. They'll stop in-person voting. They'll, 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 they'll try and insert things into acts 
um, you know, again, un under the cloak of, of darkness. That's what these people do. And the media, who is effectively yeah. the propaganda arm for, for the Democrats, you know, they'll continue this narrative. And um, it, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. You, but you know what, Janine, the, the great right. thing about it is Americans see through it, and they're not going to let it happen. Mm -hmm. All right, Eric Trump, thanks so much for being with us.